all the bags. Oh my gosh, the air conditioner in here, guys, is so loud. And now you hear ring, so. Hey guys, it's Shay. Welcome back to the channel for another video. So if any of you guys are new here, make sure you check out my last video, which was my apartment tour, my empty apartment tour. This video is going to be centered around that. So of course, moving into a new apartment, um, you need your essentials. So I kind of took yesterday to go out to a few stores and pick up what I thought were essentials. Now, essentials to me included basic household needs, along with a little bit of decor here and there. So this is going to be aesthetically pleasing as well as just a good checklist for anybody who's getting ready to you know move into their own place um the stores I shopped at yesterday included home goods Burlington Co factory um I also went to Dollar Tree which we will definitely be getting into the Dollar Tree because the Dollar Tree is the plug Walmart and I might have went to Target for a couple of these things so we'll go through everything like I said a mix of household necessities along with a little bit of decor so some of you guys who are waiting on my fully furnished tour this will give you a little update on kind of the aesthetic I'm going for in these videos I always have to apologize you guys know there's an echo in here um I do have some furniture but it's not enough to completely keep down the sound but let's jump into Burns and Co factory first I have some things that I was really happy about so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this candle holder um the candle came separately this is actually my Bath and Body Works candle but this candle holder fits Bath and Body Works candles um it was only $6.99 I'm a little pissed off at myself because there was two and I only picked up one because I thought it was 16 bucks for some reason. And then when I got to the register, it was only $6.99 and I should have ran back and got another one. But this is going to match perfect with the rest of my living room decor. Um, the next thing I'm going to get, which also matches with that candle holder, is this little um, decor right here. As you guys can see, it's crystalled. I got this on clearance for $12.99 at Burlington. And then I have one more piece that matches these two that I'm very excited about. Um, this is like a centerpiece. I'm going to try to stand back a little bit so you guys can see. So it's like, I think I'm going to put this in the middle of my coffee table. I'm still trying to figure out the aesthetic I want to do. I feel like it's going to be that plate. Um, that plate was $19.99. Uh, that plate, maybe this in the middle, and then some tea light candles or something. You guys will see it when I post it, but that is kind of like the theme of a lot of my um, emblems in my living area. So the last thing I think I picked up from Burlington was here. So I got this little furry um, footstool. This also retail for $12.90. Well, why do I keep trying to say 12 today? $19.99. I wish it was $12.99. But $19.99, um, it is fox fur. It is gray. So, like, the colors in my living room are basically um, charcoal gray, light gray, and, like, a dusky, um, dusky pink. So, you guys will see everything. But that, I feel like I didn't have anything to, like, I have so many pillows on my couch. It's not really enough for me to lounge unless I take all the pillows off. So, I just got that. So, like, if I want to even sit in the chairs I have... Or if I want to sit on my couch, I can just prop my feet up. So more for me and less for the decor, but it matches. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I think we're going to jump into Dollar Tree next. Because I'm excited about some of this stuff and I want to put y'all on. Do not sleep on the Dollar Tree. I've been a big fan of the Dollar Tree forever. Um, I had spent about 23 bucks in there yesterday. And I've been buying stuff leading up to moving in for like months. So... Just bear with me. Um, the first thing I picked up was some Glade sandwich bags. I think I already have some in the cabinet. I just checked, but I didn't know at the time when I was in there. Dollar Tree is like this store, like, even if you already have something, you're just going to pick it up because it's only a dollar. Like, it's better to stock up there than anywhere else most of the time. So I got those. I also picked up a little bottle of Clorox. I already have some Walmart brand bleach, but I figured I wanted to get some brand name Clorox for the home. Just a small bottle because it's just me here. Um, I also picked up a little thing of Scott tissue. So I am loaded up on tissue. Um, I have my own bathroom back at my home. So I just took my mom's like, take everything. You bought everything for the bathroom. Take everything with you. We're already stocked up. So I have a bunch of tissue, but... It was a dollar. This is one of those instances I'm talking about. And it's Scott brand. Scott has great tissue, especially the comfort care. So I picked that up also. Um, I also picked up these little plates. 
and they are gonna go perfect with like the theme in my um, kitchen slash island so I already have like pink plates I'm sorry guys I'm like crumbling this paper because I'm like let me just throw this in the trash the trash is right next to me I have um, these pink dusky plates on the island for the touch of pink so I think these will go perfect like in the center to keep the aesthetic of the room um, I also picked up a napkin holder because I hate, like, a big pet peeve of mine is when napkins are just laying around. Like, you know how people go to, like, McDonald's or wherever and they just throw the napkins on the counter? No, they need to be in a napkin organizer. So, I picked one of those up. It was only a dollar. Um, I also got me a measuring cup and I got a little lighter. So, I usually use, like, a barbecue lighter to light candles, but I wanted to try this one out because it's a smaller, it's more compact so I can, like, throw it in the drawer and everything like that. And plus, um, I like the barbecue lighter because it protects your nails. Because when you use a regular lighter to light a candle or like matches, it like burns your nails and does all this crazy stuff. So I'm going to try this one. If I don't like it, I will give it to someone and I will get my barbecue lighter. Um, these are from Walmart and we'll talk about those. But I also got me a measuring cup. I did cook my first meal in my apartment today. We had pancakes, eggs, and sausage and it was popping. So, But a measuring cup just to make sure I have that for all my cooking needs. Some things I got from Dollar Tree. So the little roses, these are for my bedroom. I am doing um, the nightstands and I have already won a sample of these in a vase with the pebbles but I needed another one so it would match up symmetrically so I got one of those and then I also got this thing for my desk um that's gonna be back near the dining room um dusky pink-ish purple-ish so I figured this would be good for like holding papers notebooks things like that and keeping it organized um the last couple things Ooh, let me tell y'all about these every time I go to Dollar Tree I pick up gain um fabric sheets you get 15 in a pack, it's a dollar. I feel like you cannot go wrong. Um, I get them from Walmart and Target sometimes. I forget how much it is from there, but I feel like you literally can't beat this for a dollar. I literally pick them up every time I go. So I have so many in the laundry room right now, it's not even funny. And I also got a bowl. So this is like a salad or like a pasta bowl. Like if you have to drain anything, this is a great bowl for that. I also picked up this little thing to go do these match? Now I'm looking at these like, do these match? This one looks more pinker. This might have, some one of these might have to go back. So this was supposed to match with this to go on the desk, but I'm looking at it now. I don't know if it's just the lighting, but they don't really look like they match anymore. So some might have to go back. That's another good thing about Dollar Tree. You can take stuff back in exchange so you can exchange stuff you don't get money back but i think you can exchange stuff all the time so i literally do that all the time at dollar tree if it's something sitting around i haven't used it and i bought it i'm like okay dollar tree back to dollar tree let me get the new thing just check with your regulations because y'all know everything going on with the c is keeping things at bay um last couple things i got were just a dish brush that'll be good for dishes i got a couple washcloths or dish cloths because I wanted a darker color I have like gray and white and stuff but I needed something darker they have the cutest kitchen things so I got this little oven mitt it says always find joy in the journey and it's gray and white so it'll go perfect and then I also got the pot holders or like the utensil holders to match so that was Dollar Tree y'all like if y'all have not gotten into Dollar Tree yet don't be bougie just go for it it's bougie on a budget it's there you find really good quality stuff i found dubs at dollar tree but guess what they were a dollar so i just threw them in the trash it's better than finding a dub at like walmart or target and it's like 20 bucks and then you gotta throw something that was 20 bucks in the trash so go to dollar tree okay let's get bougie real quick and go to home goods so home goods stuff the girl who was checking me out was cracking up because like all my stuff had like the same theme I've already been in Home Goods and Marshalls once before um, this haul, but like I said, I'll show you guys everything and let you know what I got. So, the first thing I got from Home Goods was a pot, and it's this dusky pink, of course. And when I look for pots, I more look for quality. It's a good stainless steel. It doesn't look like it has a stick bottom. The bottom where you cook also looks good. It retails for $19.99, and it's by the brand Master Class. So it's kind of like a casserole bowl, but you can use it to like pastas and things like that. I just thought it was so cute and it's like a really good quality um, pot. So the next thing I got from Home Goods was 
these little tea light candles. So these candles, I am thinking somehow will go with the theme I was telling you guys about when I showed you the Burlington stuff and the middle of my um, coffee table. So we'll see. They were only $4.99. The scent is white tea and jasmine. They don't smell too bad. I really can't smell them because of those gain fabric sheets are near me. But okay, guys, moving on to more things from Home Goods. This is actually funny because I was looking at this in the bag and I'm like, I do not remember what this is. So let's be surprised together. Oh, I forgot I picked this up. So this is just going to be for like cotton pads, cotton balls. I think I want to put this in the bathroom. It's just the whole like skincare things. I completely forgot I got that. I'm looking at this thing like, what else did I get? So that's what that'll be for. I picked up two of these made smart drawer holders. So I'm thinking I can put like spoons and stuff like that in the kitchen into these. These are also pink tinted. So that's why the girl in um, Home Goods was like, oh my god, you found like every freaking thing pink. Um, I got these ones for my bathroom and they actually came in a two pack set, which I thought was really good for $12.99. Um, I can put these in my drawers in the bathroom to help keep things organized. I just want to keep the drawers from being cluttered because that really bothers me when drawers get cluttered. Um, I actually found out, we just talked about measuring cups. I just used measuring cups this morning to cook and I guess I bought another pack just in case I needed more. So those were I think $4.99. I also got this little kit, so it's like a dusky pink um, broom set. So I already have like a broom and a shovel for like around the house to sweep with. But you know how you see little areas that need to just be swept up? Or maybe I'll even use it in the bathroom, who knows? So I picked that up. It was just really cute and I had to get it. Um, I also, oh my god, this was so cute. I cannot, I kept eyeing it in the store. Um, these are like their folks plants and they're like premium quality they are made to like blend as real texture this is what's called the brand real touch guys these literally feel like real tool ups it is like like i literally had to keep touching them to find out but i'm gonna find somewhere to put these in here i have so many like folks plants all over and i'm just like where am i gonna put this but i'm gonna find a place because this was cute um of course, I also picked up a couple sponges for the bath. Um, nothing big, just, you know, good deal. When you go to Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, you get four of these for like $3.99. Every time you go to Walmart or like Target or something, you pick one up for a dollar. So you might as well get a bulk pack. Two dollars, I think, at some places, especially Target. This was also something that is cute. I think I'm going to put it on one of my um, end tables. It is dusky pink, and it looks like it could hold a candle on the inside. I believe it was only $6.99. And I think like when you do put the candle in, it'll like light up. So I don't know if I'm going to do like a plain candle. I have these candles I got ordered from Amazon. And when I brought them into the living room, they were a little too bright. So I could even put one of those in there. You really can't see the candle. But then like if I lit it up, it would be super cute. I got two more things from Home Goods. I put them in my Walmart stuff. Um, some little cutting boards. I have a cutting board at home that I'm going to probably go home and get like an actual hard cutting board. But they had these that are just like a four pack and they're supposed to be flexible and lightweight. So you can cut and then you can literally just bend them and throw like stuff in the pot or whatever. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I just wanted to try that. And then you guys know I'm part of the under five foot five club. So I needed to give me a stool. I cannot reach any of the top shelves on any of my cabinets here. I can't reach the cabinet that's right above my stove. So I'm going to need this. I'm probably going to slide this right next to the fridge. But um, yeah, I, I had one of these at home before. I'm definitely going to need this because I can't reach half the stuff in this apartment. It's really, I mean, it's short people friendly. Like the island, as you can see, I can actually reach the island. Normally you have to like reach up or you have to be, the island's like right here on you. So that part was good, but I'm gonna need that stool. So Walmart is not really big anything. Like I told you guys before, I got a lot of groceries. I won't go through that unless you guys want a grocery haul. Salt and pepper shaker. They are mason jars, y'all. So freaking cute. I had to pick these up. They were only 97 cents each. Um, I brought some Windex for my glass. Another good glass cleaner is Fabuloso. If you don't know, mix Fabuloso and water. It will clean, especially surface cleaners. Like if you have something sticky on your surface, Fabuloso is the plug. You can use disinfected to clean, but use Fabuloso to get the grease and stuff off. Um, 
I got some microban because I can never find it in stores and it was in Walmart and it's the bathroom cleaner um, so this is also another good cleanser if you guys know me before corona started my favorite all-purpose cleaner was the great value lemon scent because it leaves your house smelling good along with cleaning up so I did pick this up um, I looked at the ingredients. The ingredients look the same as the old one. Big up um, tip for you guys, especially from a healthcare worker. When y'all go buy sanitizer, when y'all go buy cleaners, please look at the ingredients. Now that this stuff has happened, they are putting stuff in like cleaners and sanitizers that wasn't in there before. And I'm not saying that it's not safe because it wouldn't be um, on the shelf if it's not safe. But I'm sure you guys have heard of the instance where there was the one hand sanitizer that had something in it that was caustic to the skin. So be mindful. Um, the hand sanitizer that's in Walmart now is not the same one as before. I picked it up off the shelf originally because I seen it was $10. And when I got to the register, I smelt it and I said no. And then I looked at the ingredients on the back it's not even ethyl alcohol it's um benzochloride benzochloride I think it is I'm not positive I'll put it down here but I I have enough ethyl alcohol sanitizers and if I want to make one I will use I'm just going with alcohol I don't I'm not with these new sanitizers and stuff like that so just be mindful and be careful and of course if you sanitize you can sanitize for the moment but make sure you wash your hands when you're able to so speaking of all that I got Lysol laundry sanitizer. I'm a healthcare worker. I use this strictly for my scrubs. If any of you guys have issues or you have like teenage boys, I told my sister this, um, if they have like issues with odor or odor and you can't get out their clothes, even like men, husbands, use this stuff because it kills bacteria and bacteria is what causes odor. So there's my nurse tip for the day. Okay guys, we're wrapping up the haul. And if any of you guys were wondering why I was awkwardly standing up, here's another tidnip i installed ring and i put my sensor in a very high traffic area like a dum-dum which not a dum-dum because if somebody comes in here like it will detect you period but it's also detecting me so i need to figure out how to turn my sensor off or i don't know if i'm gonna have to change location so if any of you guys have ring any of y'all got ring let me know let me know how to get the sensor to at least turn off while i'm home i don't care if it's on when i'm gone but i like when I'm home, it's just going off. So this is the only area of the house where I can actually film and it's not like ringing. Last things I picked up were from Walmart. Um, I got two sheet sets because I have a pull out couch and my mom did stay with me my first night because she um, was here late and we shared a bed, which we don't mind, but I felt bad because she was like, I want to try to pull out couch and I didn't have any sheets here. So I need to go home and get the rest of my sheets from my old bed, but I wanted to pick up some things that really matched like my um bed. These were $14.99. Um, I'm trying to see what the thread count is. My mom is like super strict on the thread count. Um, there was another ones that were 24 and I think they were like a 500 thread count. So I don't know. I don't remember, but these feel soft. I've had these ones before. I also got some red pillow shams. Um, this is going to be a little experiment, so I'm going to hold off on this and I'll let you guys know about what's going to happen with them in my furnished, full furnished tour if it happens. And then I just got this big container to put in my living room. I want something that will hold like extra throw blankets and stuff. I love throw blankets. I wanted this really tall one like this out of home goods, but it was literally like 30 bucks. And I was like, I'm not paying no 30 bucks for a blanket holder. So I got this one out of Walmart. Um, we'll see how it works. If not, I'll probably end up going back to home goods or TJ Maxx to getting to get another one. Um, this is also like black and white with some hints of gray. So I'm hoping it actually matches in here. I don't want to have too many patterns or colors, but I do have touches of black and white on the wall. So we'll see. And I might not store it directly in the living room either. So we'll check that out as well okay guys so we are all set with this haul here like i said a very quick basically household essentials haul if you guys want to see more of these let me know i will do more if you guys are wondering about the rest of the equipment in the apartment i will let you guys know as soon as everything gets fully furnished like i said i'm waiting on a coffee table I still need to choose a rug, I need to get a mirror, and my TV stand for my room is coming in in a couple weeks. So I think after I have all that, I will have all the essential equipment, furniture, etc. And then it'll just be little things here and there. But I've spent so much money, like I honestly need to be done after this. But 
Plus, with quarantine being done, you guys know I'm going to go to the store. I cannot help it. But anywho, I will see you guys in the next upload. Make sure you leave comments down below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. Make sure you subscribe so you can get the updates when we update. Okay. Okay.